Hey everybody, we're back again here to the Charles C. Dean Wilderness Area. We're going to go do a little more exploring today. Um, it's a beautiful day, it's 70 degrees, cloudy. Um, not going to get much hotter than that today, maybe 75 tops, but uh, should be a great day for a hike. Uh, we're going to go out out here and check out another place we haven't been yet, about two miles in, check out the lake and see if we can make our way down to it, uh, Lake Monroe. And uh, I'll, here I'll show you, I'll show you the map of what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, here we are looking at the map. Uh, just to give you a reference on where we're at in relationship to every place we've been already. Um, here's the trailhead we always start from. If you've seen any of my videos, this is the starting point we always take. Um, out here is where we went to the pond a while back to see, to check on it and seeing the frogs and stuff. Uh, this trail here uh, runs out to the peninsula. That was the 10 mile hike out to the peninsula that we done. So um, where we're looking to go this time is uh, we're going to go over here to the kind of an inlet of Lake Monroe. And uh, trailheads here. We're going to hike up the Axe and Branch Trail. Um, then we're going to catch the Blue Diamond Trail. And it only it takes us up and goes on around this way. But we're going to get off the trail here and kind of do some bushwhacking and see if we can't make it to. I'm trying to get into this inlet here of the lake. I just want to explore around the edges here and uh, see what's available in that area. I'd like to actually find a uh, a place I could kind of camp and have day camps and stuff along the lake here. It's kind of out of the way and a little more secluded, I'm hoping. So uh, that's my goal. Uh, we'll see how it goes today and uh, see if we can make it there or not. Uh, overall, the hike is just, just over about two miles one way so it'll be two miles there and two miles back so uh, it'll be a good day hike a little exploration and uh, a place we haven't seen yet so uh, we'll see how things go today we're gonna get out there and hit the trail so uh, let's get going know if you can see this or not but uh get my finger out here we're winding our way down around and we're gonna go back down we're dropping down into the the creek bed i got a spider hanging off my front of my camera uh, we're dropping down into that creek bed down there which is actually the what they're calling the axum branch it's the creek that runs down and winds its way down through here and eventually works its way down to the lake so uh it's hard to see on camera probably, but the, there's the ravine runs right down through there. The trail comes down through there. So we're basically going to be following that down to the lake. So.
creek bed that I'm following along. Pretty dry. There ain't a whole lot in it right now. Weaving and winding its way down through here. This is the actually the first trail that I've been on that I've actually seen a, a blaze on the trail. All the other trails I've been on, I've not seen a blaze anywhere. Got my trusty cobweb stick out clearing my path. Place is full of cobwebs. Notice this rocks or the bedrock or limestone in the bottom of this creek. It's a very defined line. It almost looks like it's been cut that way. I don't know if you can see see this line here. That line is very distinct straight corner. I don't know, that's pretty pretty wild to be natural like that. It, it's very straight, almost like it's been cut that way. Same thing with this one over here. It seems very straight, straight edges. I don't know if that's normal or if something used to be here or something. Very cool. Did manage to find some water in the creek on up in there. We just passed. There's just little pools of water here and there. Nothing big, but person never really needed water you could manage to get you some out of that very cool little trail we're just following the creek bed heading for the lake I don't even think he knows I'm here. Yes, a young buck. That was pretty cool. That's that's what all this is about. This is the only reason I come out here because you can see things like that. I mean, he didn't even know I was here. He was just content over there eating and I'm probably within, well, I'm no good at that. But anyhow, I, I could have threw a rock and hit him and uh, he's that close.
keep we'll keep an eye out for him because uh, there was a female that was laying down in there too that I didn't see once he ran I had camera problems and it shut off on me but once he seen me and ran there was a female that was laying right down there and they're beside him that I didn't see so uh, they're on up the trail so we'll keep an eye out we may see him again Creek bed really widened out in this area. And it looks like, I'll spin you around here real easy. Looks like the water comes down through here fairly good at times because we've got quite the log jam here. You can see where everything's been washed up really hard up against it. So it definitely has water in it at some time or other. Probably just when we have real hard rains or whatever, but Okay, this is right on the trail It looks burnt to me I don't know It's a root coming out in the trail You can see the Trail going up through there, but there's about three of them here. Here's another one. It almost looks like it's had a fire or something. Let me get the camera on it. I thought maybe this pan out here. This walnut tree, I thought maybe it got hit by lightning or something, but I'm not seeing anything on it. And then on out there is yet another root sticking out that's real black. So I don't know. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. I, it looks burnt to me. Or like it's been burnt at one time, but there's no other sign of any kind of fire or anything around here. It makes me think there's been a lightning strike here right here, but I'm not seeing any trees that are it's been hit. Well, we've kind of lost the trail. Uh, I don't know, back in there somewhere, it got into some thick vegetation and stuff, and I couldn't pick it back up. So uh, I knew where I was wanting to go. I'm wanting to head down to where this creek bed meets into the lake. So I'm just following the creek bed to where I want to go. Uh, we're pretty much on the general path. I'll show you here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyhow, the dotted line is the path I was looking for, but I got over there to it. You can see where it did finally meet up to it over here, but uh, I lost it in the vegetation or something. So we're going to go on down. I want to go on down here to the lake, and uh, then we'll see if we can come back up from the lake and pick the trail back up or I can just follow the creek bed back to where I lost it at and head back to the truck that way so we're gonna go down to the lake check it out and see what's down there
sure what this is, but I'm thinking it's some kind of wooden ladder somebody's had up here at one time. And uh, maybe a tree stand or something at one time for uh, deer hunting. Uh, actually, this would probably be a good, pretty good spot. I mean, this creek here, let me back you out and show you. Clears out right in this area. And you got the creek bed down here. It's all got all kinds of water in it. And uh, then it goes on over there. On out to the lake. I can't I can't get to the lake because of all the vegetation out that way. It, I tried and I went on out there, but the closer you got to the lake, the thicker it got and I might see if I can work my way around this other way, follow the creek, but when I went around the corner over there, when I went around the corner over there, there's water in it and you, you couldn't get through, so I don't know. We'll check it out and see, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the lake or not. It's just around the bend there, but so close, but yet so far. But I thought that was interesting. I don't know. That's the only thing I can figure. Is that some kind of old deer stand at one time it looks like it's been tied up there to that limb so like they tied it up there and then used it to climb up there it's the only thing I can think of pretty cool well we've got this sloping bank right along the edge of the creek here I'm wondering if I can't just walk along the top edge of it there you can see where the vegetation starts and the rock ledge starts where they kind of come together I wonder if I can walk along there and uh, make my way to the lake that way uh, well we're gonna give it a shot so uh, wish me luck heading back to the truck um, wasn't able to get to the lake I didn't quite I went about halfway along that edge there with the the hillside trying to get around the creek and couldn't do it so heading back to the truck I did find the trail I must have lost it for a while it follows the creek bed and I, I think I lost it in the creek bed and didn't see where it went back up on land so uh, we're all good. We're heading back to the truck. We're on the trail. And, um, we'll see what we see. We haven't been on this part of the trail yet, so this will be this will be new to me. So maybe we'll see something new along the way. I know you probably see me walking around. My little stick is laying down there right now, swinging it around in circles in front of me. Spider webs are really bad right now. I mean, they're just everywhere you turn there's one across the trail so uh, obviously I've not I've been the first one through here for a while so I'm fighting them all I, once I get up there where I've been I'll have a clear path but uh, so I got me a stick been clearing out the path ahead of me because it's getting a little getting kind of bad getting them in the face all the time so that's the fun of hiking Well, I found me a nice little spot here to relax a little bit, cool off up here on this ridge. There's a nice breeze coming through here. I don't know, you may be able to hear it blowing on the camera, but uh, pretty nice day. Really enjoying it. Just kind of a peaceful, relaxing day. So we're going to sit here and have me a little snack, got me some chips and Got my water. This is my new Nalgene bottle I got, so now I've got two of them. So I'm getting good shape for water now. And uh, let's 
to sit here and relax and enjoy it. And we'll get back on the trail and head back to the car here in a bit. Okay, here's where here's where I lost my path, I guess. Well, this right here, this one right here is where I just now came. That's the new path that I picked up on my way back that I hadn't been down yet. This one over here to the left, right there, going out this way, is the path I took. Now, it comes in across this creek bed right here. See if I can see it with the sun, and then you, you see, and, and that's the way I came in. I came in that way and went straight across the creek bed here and went down this trail. Well, I don't know what that trail is for sure, but it didn't, it wasn't the exact trail. I mean, it got me where I was going, but it wasn't the exact trail that I should have been following. I guess it was kind of the lower half. This one here that I just come down, it follows the ridge up there. So that's where I got messed up. I figured it was somewhere in this creek bed that I lost track because it kind of follows it for a little bit and then you got to get off of it. So that's what we done, but we found our way. That's what we got the maps and the GPS and stuff for. So always good to do a little bushwhacking and find a new ways. for sure but they're uh, I'll get the name and put it on here but I didn't realize you could find these around here I mean I'm, I think somebody probably got it out of the creek bed I think I see another one over there can't think of the name but I'm gonna put the name on the I'll put it on the video when I get when I edit it in pretty cool though Wish I could think of it. Yeah, there's all kinds of them over here in the creek bed. There's another one. Very cool. Well, we made it back to the car. Uh, it was a good hike today. Seeing the two deer made the hike all worth it. That, I wouldn't care if I seen anything else. That was, that made it all worth it right there. Uh, overall, it was right at two miles one way, so about four miles round trip. Um, took about an hour, hour to go out, hour to come back. You know, a little longer than that going out because of filming, stopping, doing odds and ends. You know, so, but moving hiking time was right about an hour so about an hour there an hour back on average if I was not filming and doing the camera stuff so good hike today always enjoy it enjoy the weather beautiful weather and uh, I think we're gonna call it a day and uh, get ready to head home so uh, just always remember to get up get out and get exploring because you never know what you're going to find. <laughs>